Okay, let's take a look at 7.6. And, um, okay. There we go. What's this? Um, hmm. Oh, okay. That goes along with that. Oh, I think that's everything now. Okay, numbers are selected between. This must be input, I'm guessing. And uh, min box and input. Max box. This is uh, input again, yes. And this one would be on click. And I um, guess that's it. Okay. We open that with Google Chrome. Uh, okay, zero to nine, generate your lucky number. Well, obviously, it's not generating the right right number. Um, hmm. Now, Max. Getting that from Max Box, which is Max Box here, and um, well, to be honest, I don't remember the code for figuring out min and max. So let me look it up. Where am I? Oh, here's where I'm looking. So min and max. Okay, so this is 7.6. Uh, 7.6. Hmm. 7.6. Okay, enter the lucky from figure 7.4. So figure 7.4. There it is. Okay, so number is equal to math.floor, math.random, times max minus min plus 1, plus min. Well, that seems correct. Number Okay, well let's <clears throat> see what's going on. I'll come over here and um I can go into more tools. This is a debugging uh developer tools. And uh, okay, got our code there. Refresh it. And console. Sometimes this tells you something, sometimes it doesn't tell you anything. To me, this doesn't look like it's going to tell us anything this time. Hmm.
Well, let's um let's print off some debugging information. So down here, leave my book open just in case. And I'm gonna have an input type equals to text. Uh, ID equals db D, D, D for debug. There we go. Now up here, after I calculate in, um, min and max, where I find min and max, let's say um, document dot get element by ID and uh, debug dot value equals min. Okay, refresh this. Click that. Put zeros in there. Okay, that looks good. Now let's um, print max. Refresh that. Generate that. Max is 9. Perfect. Now let me move this below this line of code. And uh, we're going to have this equal to number. Okay, so then refresh that. Numbers 10, 80, 10, 40, 50. So it actually is in that code where the problem is. Now you do parse floats here. I wonder if that's what the book says. Parse float, parse float, okay. We know min and max are correct, so I don't need to look at that code anymore. So let's look back down here. Number is math dot floor beginning parentheses math dot random times max minus min plus one plus min. Well, math dot four math dot random. Begin parentheses closing parentheses times max minus min plus one plus min. Math.random. Hmm. <laughs> well, let's see. What have I done here? Control Z, undo. Okay. I'm going to create some variables. T1 is going to equal to math.random. And I'm going to print out my results. Okay, so I'm going to get my debugging line up here. And I'll print off uh, the value of T1. Should be between a uh, decimal, yeah, between zero and one. That's perfect. Then T2 is going to equal to max minus min plus one. Now, how my code's changing is this would be now be T1. this would be T2. And am I printing T2? Yes. Okay, so refreshing that, click that. Max minus min plus 1. 9 minus 0 plus 1 is 10. How about if I put 2 in here? 
9 minus 2 is 7 plus 1 is 8. So that's, that's working perfectly. Okay. Then T3 is going to equal to T1 times T2. I'll replace that uh, as T3. And let me print the value of T3. Two point, okay, let me think about this. Random number, nine, uh, yeah, that might be right. I'm going to do a floor on it plus the min. What about the floor is causing that to, okay, well, let's do the floor. So T4 is going to equal to math dot floor of T3. So this right here gets replaced by T4. And there. Okay, so refresh that, click that. That all looks perfect. But then I'm adding min to it. Somehow when I add min, it's getting messed up. But I know min's correct. Ah, min is zero. See how it's concatenating on zero on the end. It thinks it's, that min is a um, string. So why would it believe that? Let's go up here. Compare them. Parse float document dot get on with by the min box dot value. Huh. It's min a reserve word maybe? Let me change it to mint. Refresh that. <laughs> min is a reserve word. It does not like you to use min. Bizarre that let's use max, but doesn't like min. This is part of part of programming is um, going through and if, if you find that you hate sitting here debugging this, um, it's like a puzzle to me. But if you find out you hate uh, debugging it, then the programming is probably not for you. Uh, if, if you find that you love this, it's frustrating right now because you don't got to the skill set yet, then um, if, you, if you love it though, then that, that tells you you're going along the right path.